so uh, now we're dubbing this, but basically I'm making one of my buttons slash pins, whatever they are called. I don't know exactly how to call them. But basically first I start with taking my uh, uh, pin backing and basically tracing that circle there. And then I'll cut it up. Yay, exciting stuff, right? But once it's all cut up and everything, I will start doing a sketch. Now, as you see here, I have the circle all cut out. Now, it's not a perfect circle, but it's decent enough. So I just start the sketch here. Normally, I just do these as, like, headshots of chibis due to the fact that it's so small. And as you can see, I didn't zoom up on my camera at this point. Um, so it's really hard to see the sketch, but eventually I will zoom up on it on the recording. And there I go. There we go. So you can see the sketch a little better. It's still a little hard to see, but it's, you know, it's there. Now half of my time, the hand's in the way, but that's due to the fact, again, it's such a small, I think it's supposed to be like two and a half inches on these buttons. These buttons you can get at Michael's for like, uh, $5 for like 12 cases, which it, or, yeah, $5 for 12, 12 of them. So they're relatively cheap comparing to uh, buying a button machine. Now, it would be nice to have a button machine, but a lot of people just uh, do like digital and I don't have a printer. So I'd rather just do these custom like uh, traditional buttons as I do here. And now I start the inking process, which I tend to use for like some of my artwork. I tend to use different color uh, multi-liners. What I'm using right there is a uh, Copic sepia color multi-liner. It's very thin, so it helps with how small this uh, drawing is. However, since like Promare had like different like like bright colors I like to use like for the hair as you can see I'm using a green micron for Remy's hair so it doesn't I'm not sure how to describe it once like if you have like just plain black line work it tends to not be as like almost bright looking but I've noticed whenever I do it with like different colors and everything it tends to have a more brighter poppier color to it so I used the green for the hair and the eyes and then as I said the sepia color for his skin like the outline of it you know the skin where the skin's going to be colored then like the technical uh black parts quote unquote like his glasses I used a purple so it wasn't black like straight up black color so yeah and then I just continue with uh, the line work. I'm trying to remember. I th think I just used the purple for the rest of everything. Like his clothes. If I can remember what the color looks like. Because I have a purple or blue. I'm sorry. My speech is really bad. Um, but I just thought that the purple would do better with his shirt since it was a darker blue instead of the bright blue that I had. So. Then I erase it, which is always a fun part. And then it disappears off the face of the earth. Um, so then I start the coloring process, which I use Copic markers, which they're very expensive, but they're definitely worth it. So here I'm just coloring the hair in with like a you know mint green type color, since that's Remy's hair color. Same with the eyes. Um, I also have a uh, Copic anniversary and 25th anniversary markers, which have the fine tip, which work wonders for smaller, uh, drawings like this is. But as you can see, I go from the lightest shade to the darker shades. And then sometimes if it's big enough, I will go over it with the lightest shade again to blend everything. Now, the, as I said, this is a very small area to work with, so it's harder for me to do the the perfect blending on this but you can see sometimes I'll take out a lighter shade and whatnot and start like blending everything in 
that I had with the darker areas. Now here I ended up uh, coloring his shirt for some reason before doing the skin, which is odd for me. Normally I actually color the skin first, if anything. But I used a like grayish blue for the start. Oh, I actually skipped that process half of the time. So I did start doing the skin after because I'm very uh, absent-minded. So I did a, a uh, light, like like a base coat for the skin, and then I added some white spots because I'm very, as I said, I'm very absent-minded whenever it comes to everything. So as you can see there, I was using like a darker shade, like an E11, I think it was, or something like that, and then I'd go over it again with the lighter color and blend everything in. Now it doesn't look too much you know, shaded and everything there just yet, but adding, like, purples and, like, pinks to, like, shade for the, you know, blush area and, like, around his hair where the hair would put a shade on the character. I'd start coloring that. Now, area around his glasses started to, like, smear. So there's some purple <laughs> that came onto his face, so that's why I stopped kind of blending it. And then here I go back on to uh, doing the uh, his outfit, which I was using kind of like a almost more of a grayish blue because I didn't want to just do this bright blue since that wasn't the color of his shirt. Now it's not perfect, of course. And if you can see there, I actually added some uh, yellow to the highlights of his hair because sometimes I'll do that for quote unquote lighting, but you know, my lighting does not exist on my characters here. And as you can see, I have a white pen, and sometimes I'll s smudge it a little bit to make it, you know, not as just one blotch. So yeah, I do that for some areas and everything. The eyes are definitely where I definitely use the uh, white pen, which is a Signo. Now here, I start doing uh, the background, which I was referencing it off the movie. Uh, if you literally can just look up uh, Remy from Promare and you probably could find the image that I was kind of referencing off of, but I was doing it in my own style. Now, do I recommend doing a full out background on some of these things? Not really. It's difficult since, once again, it's itty bitty. But I like doing uh, the backgrounds more whenever it is itty bitty. Because I don't have to put as much detail in it. And I'm not the greatest background. So it was just kind of something that I do with my uh, pins. And as you can see, it's just adding some colors. And like it wasn't really shaded. Because I didn't want the focus to be the background. I wanted the focus to be Remy. So, and I just kind of touch up everything. And like do some shading. Now, with like grayer areas and everything... I tend to not use a full out gray. As you can see there, I was actually using like a uh, greenish blue. And then I just touch up the background, which there was some tiles back there. You can't really see it too well, but it's in the background. So yeah. And then just kind of end up like that. And then I put the... Uh, in the button which doesn't show until the end here so yeah sorry about the stupid overdubbing recording that i can't speak well um but yeah so that's what my process in a shorter amount of time than normal because i kind of sped up the recording but that's how it looks at the end and I do commissions of these once in a while if you're ever interested in having your own custom button. But yeah, thanks for watching the video and I hope this wasn't the stupidest video I've ever watched.